Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Boy, oh boy. The enemy is raging, but I tell you what, I'm just going to remind him first off the bat here where he's going, and very soon at that. Revelation 20.10 And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are, and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. Hallelujah. That's his end. That's the devil's end. And all those that want to follow the devil, that's their end too. If they don't repent. Hallelujah. This devotional today, I am the Lord. I do not change. Malachi 3.6 For I am the Lord. I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Now the Lord, nobody created God. Nobody created the Lord. He's self-existent. He is the omnipotent one. Hallelujah. In purity. Sovereignty. He does not change. He's the same today. Yesterday, forever. He changed not in his divine nature and personality by becoming a man either. He took that into union with him. But he remained the same he ever was. He was also God. Fully God and fully man as he walked this earth. He remained the same he ever was. And he didn't change in his threatenings of destruction to the Jews either, which did come upon them according to his word. Nor has he changed in his promises of his spirit, in his presence, in his protection to his people. Nor will he ever change in his love and affections to them. Nor in the efficacy of his blood. His sacrifice his righteousness. Hallelujah. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Such who were the Israelites indeed. True believers they were in Christ. They were not consumed with the wicked Jews. Because they were directed to leave the city before its destruction. And go to another place as they did whereby they were preserved. That's another deal right there in that scripture. The Lord preserves his people. Is he telling you to get out of the city? Is he telling you to leave the city before its destruction? Then you better get to going to another place that he's shown you because thereby you will be preserved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's so many lessons all in this one scripture. The authority or the power of darkness is a very real thing to us. We have experiences. And if we were to cease to resist or surrender to them, that would be the end of us. What is that saying? You have to to fight. You have to continue to resist the devil. You cannot give in to him. He tries, the devil tries, to bring upon us that impact or that effect of the authority of darkness. And if we surrender to it, if we capitulate to it or cease to resist it and accept it, then we are beaten. Resisting the devil is part of the warfare. Resisting him. What's the Bible say in James 4, 7? Here's the order. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you.
that's an order right there. First of all, we've got to submit. If you're not submitting, you can pretty much forget the rest. Because you won't have the strength to resist the devil, or he is not going to flee from you either. So first is submission to God. And when you submit to God, you are obedient to him. Hallelujah. That's first. And then we will have the power to resist the devil. And then he will flee from you. It doesn't say maybe he will flee from you. No, he will flee from you. If we are the Lord's, Christ is within. And Christ is supreme. And we must go on even if we have no feeling. Or if we have a very bad feeling. We still must go on. When it seems to be the last thing we ought to be saying, we say it because it is God's fact. And when we begin to affirm God's fact, we win through. Hallelujah. Sometimes you don't feel like it at all. Or you get a feeling so demonic in nature that you can just sense it. You still have to go on. You still have to continue to submit to God and resist the devil. And yeah, sometimes the Lord has us say things. You know, his word, people do not like for the majority of the part. They do not like the straight talk of the just simple word of God. Because why? Because it cuts and it divides. It goes behind those closed doors. It goes into those rooms you're trying to keep God out of. That's why. That's what it does. It's a divider. It's a fire. It's a hammer. Believers know what it is for the enemy to try to make them accept the authority of darkness. No. No. Stand upon the truth of God. God does not change with our feelings. God does not alter with our consciousness. This whole life of ours is subject to variation more swift than the variation of the weather. But he rules unalterable unchangeable let's get that let's hear that let's know that but he rules he rules over the devil he is unalterable he is unchangeable he is the same yesterday and today and forever and if he is there within he has come to stay, and victory is in faith. Believing that, standing on that, holding to that, and we must carry that through to its final and full issue, that he is Lord of all. He is the head of all principality and power, hallelujah. Well, Satan will sometimes try to make us believe that he is in the place of ascendancy, won't he? The place of supremacy. Mm -mm. Calvary took care of that. We stand there too, Calvary, the cross, where the Lord defeated every work, every plan, every scheme of the enemy and crushed his head into the ground. He's been defeated. Hallelujah. And I just read you to begin with where his end is and very soon at that. Let's do this again. And while we are at it, let's just remind the devil again his end and his very soon end. Revelation 20.10 And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake 
of fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophet are and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever and ever and ever and ever through all eternity that is that, that is his end and sad to say that's the end for all those that follow the devil that do his bidding and his work if they do not repent that's where their end is too in the lake of fire being tormented day and night forever and ever and ever and ever now let's know we have a God that changes not you know he has not changed one bit and if he tells us to do something to move to another place or this or that we better get to going because you know what he protected his people back then that way giving them instruction and direction to go and do so they would be preserved and he does the same thing today we cannot be put under the authority or the power of darkness under S Satan And one way for him to get us to do that is through fear. We have to submit to God, number one. Resist the devil and all his schemes and plans and thoughts and everything else. Throw him off in the name of Jesus. Get behind us, Satan. Get away. Be gone. resist that devil and he has to flee he has to be gone in Jesus name hallelujah